Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gabriel Pryor. And I'm Rosaline Burke. And we're here today to tell you how to whip up a little concoction that we like to call the Canary the Mule. Named after our dealer departed Canary the Mule. Poor sweet Canary. Well, we strapped a bunch of dynamite to her. We did. It just didn't seem like it would happen so many months later. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Now, the drink we are going to make here today is containing alcohol. So if you're not over 21, don't make it. Or you can just leave the alcohol out, which we call a gussy. To get started, you're going to need to gather the ingredients you need for this particular brew. Now, the first is bourbon of some sort. Now, the Canary the Mule is based off of the Kentucky Mule drink, because I know for a fact that Canary is originally from Kentucky, and there's no one left alive who can verify whether that is true or not. It was a bit too soon, I think. This particular bourbon that we are using today is bullet bourbon, which we took off of the corpse of one duff bullet after that incident in Coldwater Creek. Well, we couldn't let it go to waste. Well, it was miraculously unharmed, and I saw that as a silver lining. Next, in order to make this mule kick, you're going to need a bit of ginger beer. Now, in the weird west, ginger can be a little hard to come by, as I discovered when I tried to find some to shove up a horse's ass. You did what? But here, you can pretty much go to any grocery store and find all sorts of ginger beer. Now, the particular brand that I'm using today is Cock and Bull, but you can use whatever the hell you want. I frankly don't give a damn. The third ingredient is lime juice, which you can get out of limes. They also probably sell pre-squeezed lime juice, which in my opinion works just as well. Or pay someone else to do it for you. The final ingredient we add to this is ghost rock candy. Now you might be thinking, ghost rock doesn't exist in my world. How the hell do I make that happen? Well, best substitute that you've got are pop rocks. All of this should be presented as with any mule drink in a cup of mug. But if you don't have a cup of mug, just put it in any old cup. You do you. The first step is to put two ounces of bourbon in your cup or mug. Follow that up with half an ounce of lime juice. And then fill your mug with ice. Top all that ice off with as much ginger beer as you'd like, probably filling the cup up to the brim. And the best part is to add your ghost rock or your pop rocks if you're not in the Weird West, but just be careful and make sure that you stand back. Well. Here goes nothing. God damn! Son of a bitch, that's gonna be minus two on my faith roll for a week. Yes, it is. Well, it's all worth it. It is. Fun fact, Ghost Rock is actually very sweet. And it gives you nightmares for months at a time. And of course, the best part of any drink is having a wonderful companion to share it with. Join us next time when we make a Howlin' Howl Tuna Melt tin. And watch Wild Cards Friday nights, 8 p.m. Pacific time at twitch.tv slash saveandthrowshow. Cheers.